What do you think about well, colonizing Mars? <laughs> what a segue! Well, I, what a segue. I, 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 I like this. Week. I really, I really like the uh, the smooth transitions. Uh, this is great. <laughs> was a, so, so this is I, not a topic we selected, by the way. Yes. But we're fine to talk about colonizing Mars. I'm in favor. I'm in favor of exploration. I'm in favor of new frontiers. I do think that there's a. It's so should particularly the United States of America lead the way in establishing routes on Mars? Absolutely. I'd like to see that. But I do think that it's an interesting point. I'm going to tie it to the discussion we just had. There is a bit of escapism in that to say that I'm going to find my sense of meaning by going somewhere else when I actually could have it right here at home, right? Yeah. There isn't, enough, there isn't anything we couldn't understand at the atomic level that wouldn't be more edifying and liberating for us that would require us to go to Mars to do instead. I'm not denigrating the value of going to Mars. I would support it. I think as, as a spirit of human advancement and human achievement and a down payment on a future that's much longer than I believe our past has been, that's great. But I do, whatever the case may be, I see one serial substitute after another arising saying that, oh, no, no, maybe the thing that's going to give me fulfillment is going to Mars. Yes, it's that thing. Let's get behind that versus being grounded in the things that have, for most of our history, grounded us and given us meaning as human beings. So yeah, work out, absolutely. eat healthy, get to know your neighbors. Yeah, that, that could be, that, all of those things can be on That's the list. That's like the individual, yeah. the family, and the nation. Absolutely. Take care of yourself. Take care of the people around you, right? I think that we'll hear a lot more people worrying about taking care of somebody in the Congo, which I have no problem with somebody in the United States taking care of someone in the Congo. But what's your relationship with your own family? Exactly. Or your neighbors, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that in the same way, there's an impulse to say, let me go to Mars as a substitute for self-discovery here at home. I'm, I'm going to Mars to look for something that I could have found by just taking a long, hard look in the mirror myself, which is actually a deeper journey into the harder question of who I really am and who we really are. And I think that's the hard work we sometimes sidestep in terms of talking about the climate or talking about curing hunger on a continent halfway around the world before we actually ask ourselves who we really are and what we're really doing here at home. And I think that characterizes the American moment, characterizes why much of the modern left is lost, but it also characterizes the work cut out ahead for conservatives or <laughs> you don't even have to use the label conservatives, but leaders who want to fill that vacuum of purpose and meaning in our country. I 